Right, I think we are live. I'm just going to wait for the actual YouTube to go live. Hi, everyone, if you're there. Uh, if you can hear me on YouTube, if you can say hi in the chat, that would be great. I think we're live now. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the first ever inaugural website speed build challenge with Mike McAllister. Hi, Mike. Hello. And Brian Cords. Hey. Hey, Brian. How are you going, guys? Super good. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Good way to end a, end a week, or work week. Yeah. So this is this is a 30 minute challenge and you can probably see everyone. This, the website that they're going to be building today is Gumroad and uh, chose it for a number of reasons. I'm just going to share my screen and talk you through some of the main challenges of this one. If I can work out the technology. Here we go. So they're going to have 30 minutes to recreate this. I'm not sure you can see that. Recreate this. So a few things to say is it's obviously, I'd call this brutalist, right? Mike, this is a brutalist website. It's something. It's gummy. It's gummy yeah. style. Um, so we've got a sticky nav at the top, which is a challenge. Let's see how they go about that. Then we've got these wide sections here. Um, I kind of, this is kind of cool. Let me scroll down. I'm not expecting you guys to build the whole front page, but let's see how far you get. But I would like to, there's bonus points for things like these sort of elements here that are moving at a slightly different rate. I don't quite know how you do that, but let's see how you get on. And then we scroll down a bit further and up, but I do whatever happens. I'd like you to have a go at these cards because I think those would be a fun thing to try and do. Uh, and then down below, we've got some more stuff. And then we've just got a standard footer with a subscribe box. So there's enough challenging things to try and get your heads around in half an hour. Uh, the main elements really are the, the head of the sticky nav. And there's some cool stuff down below. So does that sound right, um, guys? Is there any, any questions on that before we before we start the clock? We've got some people. So. We've got some people watching. We've got 51 people at the moment watching this one. So hi everyone. Thanks for coming. We are running a poll as well today that you can you can vote for your winner, which I had intended to be a, a poll that I set as the competition was going on, but it seems like people are already voting. So what I really want you to vote on is who do you think has done the who has done the best job of <laughs> recreating this website. No pressure, guys. Um, so if we're ready to go. I'm going to count you down. You've got half an hour. You're both going to be using, actually, before we start, what 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 tools are you going to be using today? Mike, should we start with you? Uh, yeah, sure. I think I'm going to use um, my Ollie theme, which is pre-installed on the site here. And okay. uh, so, yeah, I think I'll just go with that. Cool. Okay, that's cool. Um, Brian. Yeah, you know, I figured in honor of Mike being here, I would also use the Ollie theme and oh, wow. see how, how well it works for this and... Okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay, cool. Right. The pressure. The pressure. The pressure is enormous. It's about to get a lot worse. So the other thing to say is when I start the clock here, technically I can't stop the clock. So whatever happens for the next half an hour happens. There's nothing I can do about it just because of the technology. So you ready, guys? I'm going to count you down. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Start the clock. Here we go. Oh. So... I'm going to flick back as you start to build and tell you who we're looking at. So currently we're looking at Brian's screen and I can flick between these and there's Mike. Mike's activating Ollie and let's get these two guys going together. Here we go. I heard the winner gets Jamie's YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, massive. There will be prize money at some point with this. Hi everyone. Uh, we've got some questions coming in, but I'm not going to fire questions at you as you build yet, because that would add a dimension of complexity, uh, which would be, which be crazy. For those watching, Brian is over on the right, top right, and Mike is currently in the top left. In fact, let me just focus in on Mike for a second. So this is Mike right now, and he looks like he's creating a front page template, I guess. Yeah, he is creating a blank front page template, which is a good way to start. Let's see what Brian's up to. Okay, so we're both we're both setting up templates here. Lots of good luck's coming in. I'm just copying the fifty thousand colors that they have in their color palette. <laughs> smart, <laughs> smart move. Yeah. Okay, you've had a minute and a half. 
does it help if I read out the time for you guys? Uh, I'm I'm okay either way. Yeah. Sounds yeah. Good. Oh, this 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 colors is in a different language. I don't understand these these words. I'm gonna Why, have what, to just tra translate live. Yeah, it's got an extra U, right? <laughs> yep. Sorry about oh, that. Geez. I feel like with Jamie's accent, I feel like I'm on like a. Uh, the <laughs> show, and he's gonna start cursing at us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So we've got Brian top right, we've got Mike top left, and we're let's see, Mike. What's your plan here? What's your strategy? I am um, just kind of setting up a few of the details structure of the page. And I'm just thinking about how I want to, if I want this to be a front page and what uh, kind of structure I want in terms of using patterns or um, yeah. yeah, what kind of container I want. Because this is a very wide site, you know, yeah. so um, I might just go, go wide and, and build it all that way. So. Okay. No pressure, but Brian's already on the header. I know he's he is just he's, on. he's just added the header. He's added I'm not even up. thinking about structure, so that always comes to me. The purists out there won't be enjoying the approach, but there's there's time pressures here. Oh, there's immense pressure, immense pressure. Brian, I'm, I've got to tell you that Mike's screen is very white at the moment. There's not a lot of anything okay. structure or color. So you're doing, I'd say, I put you ahead. Yeah, sure. well, I think he's he's. He's getting there. I might go this way out anyway, actually. Okay. 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 I want to hop out of here. Appearance editor. Uh, a few questions. So both, mm -hmm. both. Contestants are using the Ollie theme today. This which wasn't prearranged, that was their free will. Obviously, Mike is the author of the Ollie theme, so it's no surprises he's using it. Well, I Brian, if something goes wrong, I could blame Mike. That's right. <laughs> I mean Brian was Brian was pre-show just putting a lot of excuses <laughs> I'll call them excuses about not having his local dev environment to work in. He was getting those early, but he's, I spend he's more right. time in the code editor than the block editor. So it makes me a little nervous. Yeah. Okay. We've got 81 people watching live now. So the pressure's ramping up. Okay. We've got some action going on, on McAllister's screen. Let's put him up. Look at that. He's got the logo up there. He's put it in a, okay. He's flicking back. He's put it in a group block. Yeah. And now we'll take a lot of group blocks. All group blocks. <laughs> okay, you've had four group blocks deep right now just for the logo. <laughs> I mean, you could just put a logo in, couldn't you? Really? Uh, I guess you need a logo and a group block and make it sticky, I think would have maybe I mean, been a quicker approach, but I, I didn't realize they, they go full width. Current poll, uh, current poll has Mike on fifty six percent, Brian on forty four percent, but it's very early days. Okay, we've got a we've got a pretty. Let's see here. Pretty good header going on. Oops. So, what are you putting in underneath the? Okay. I'm a uh, blog and discover. I'm uh, putting. Oh, you have a menu. Sorry, I should have said you have a menu. So if you want to put a menu, oh. you have navigations. Yeah, pre built. I should have mentioned that. So if you just put the navigation block in there, it's going to. I save you some time and added a navigation for you. I pre built that. So oh, perfect. Perfect. That. perfect. Okay. Did you Thank hear you that, that? Yeah. Yeah. I should have mentioned that. Thank sorry, you. guys. 
because you could have spent half an hour just on the navigation block and I didn't. Oh yeah, I was I was just about to say um, I wasn't even gonna build a proper navigation. I was just yeah. gonna put links in there because I was like, there's no way I'm I'm spending that kind of that kind of uh, important time on this thing. Okay. Cool. So you're yeah. putting the navigation block in. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm building it here, but I, I might move it. But just in terms of, uh, you know. Yeah, because the, the navigation block has to be sticky, right? Yep. And so I might just have the navigation. to move it. Yeah. So that needs to be outside the uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. group. That's all right. Well. Uh, oh man, that's a good. We'll that's a tricky one. Right. I'll build it here. And we'll <laughs> worry about that later. We're yeah. gonna get like just the that. header done in thirty minutes. <laughs> all right let's see oh, this is going to be semantically terrible so i'm going to apologize to the uh certain yeah. people that are going to get very mad about the semantics of this that's fine we've got lots of disclaimers uh people are saying do they do you need to make it responsive <laughs> and not in not in the 20 minutes they've got remaining but it well, will be it will be partly because yeah. you're going to be using some yeah that's right yeah we don't we don't have to uh, worry too much about it um, if you're using a theme that has some fluid spacing and typography and all of that good stuff. Okay, let's flip over to Brian's screen. Okay. Oh, wow. Two logos. You got two two logos. Let's see. Let's delete this. All right, we're getting there. Okay, cool. So Brian, you're you're putting your nav in its own group, right? And going to make that sticky? Is that the plan? Yeah, I'm just. I have no idea why it comes off the side of the screen like that, but yeah. So I got the nav like that. So the yeah. nav sticks. Hey, that's cool. So I don't like that it's outside of the header, but we're, we're not going to worry about that today. Um, so Mike, Brian's got the sticky nav working, I think, by the looks of it. Looking pretty good. Cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, this is, uh, for those watching, this is coming live to WordCamp Europe. So I'm still looking for two competitors to be on stage to take part in this. Uh, and we're also going to have some extra judges, it looks like, which will be fun. Oops. Oops. You really get to see how easy it is to just, like, get lost in clicks. Yeah. On these, on these things here. Um, All right. It's a... Uh, yeah. Should I try to match these buttons too? Are we doing are we doing it all? Well, I would crack on and get some of the I mean, we're we're down to you got twenty minutes left, so I you know, you might you wanna yeah, you, Oh my god. You might want to come back to that stuff if you can get some of the main content stuff underneath. And in particular those cards that the you know, if you can have a go at those at some point, that'd be cool. Uh, to... this. Okay. Be careful, huh? You're doing pretty well there, guys. 10 minutes. Got the header done. Uh, I've got a question from Scott saying, interesting, all the focus on the header and navigation. Why not build out the block structure for the whole site and go back for the details? Well, why don't you get on here and do it, Scott? <laughs> Scott, we'll no. see you next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, no, that's a good question. It's just a matter of like... It's just um, when panic is happening, Scott. Yeah, exactly. You're just kind of like, do what <laughs> you th you see and can do in, 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 in an instant, you know. But uh, no, it's good. But we welcome your we welcome your criticism. More of that, please. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Hey, we're making good progress now, guys. This is looking pretty cool. Oh, I don't have a long enough page to know if my sticky works. Let's flick over to Brian's screen. He's got some color going on in those. Uh, so Brian's gone group columns block for the first section. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is seems sensible. All right. All 
Okay, now we've got the side by side going. So my eyes aren't good enough. Who's in dark mode? Is that you, Brian? That's me. Mike's in dark mode. Okay, let's swap this over. There we go. Hopefully you can all see that. So <laughs> Kevin Geary has come in and said, I knew 30 minutes time limit was going to be way too short. Thanks, Kevin, for that. First, as I said, this is the first go, so we'll adapt as we go. And they haven't finished yet. Give them a chance. Uh, Nuno says, well, to be fair and honest, build it should be done from top to bottom and not skipping content. Yeah. Yeah. This is just a fun challenge, you know. We're just having fun here. It's just a fun challenge, yeah. It's. I think, you know, I'm thinking about all of the different ways you can build something like this in WordPress. And... Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people haven't spent, <clears throat> excuse me, a ton of time in the block editor knowing all the ins and outs and, and kind of knowing what is possible. So I think it's a good opportunity for people to just see how we might do something and it's yeah. not right or wrong or perfect or yeah. you know, whatever. This is uh, speed, speed building. And you've got, let's see how long you've got left. You've got oodles of time. You've got 17 minutes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll probably finish the site and do a little SEO audit in that. <laughs> I often do 30 minute website builds for clients. <laughs> what you pay for. <laughs> it's a thousand, thousand bucks an hour. I'm in the okay. wrong business. We're looking pretty good guys. You're doing some good stuff. When we get to 10 minutes, I'm going to shout and uh, then I want you to move on to the cards. Cause I'd like to see how you approach the card layouts. So that would be fun to see. But you still got quite a bit of time. Look at that. Let's spotlight that one. That's Brian's looking pretty good now. Brian, can you just scroll up? Yeah, can yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Just scroll down a bit so we can see it, Brian. The whole thing. Yeah. As in the header as well. Yeah, that's cool. Man, that's cool. Well done. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Not far. How are you feeling about things, Mike? You happy with where you're at? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Let's see here. Mike, does Ollie put a lot of border radius on things? Or am I just... <laughs> he's going to start. He's going to start bitching yeah. about your theme now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is that's what this was about. I knew it. It was a setup. <laughs> we were always going to head head up, end up here. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Border radius. Seeing nothing. Does it really? I don't. I don't think. Um, I don't know what this little. There's like a little corner in there. I don't know what it is. Okay. I have to say, guys, you're doing pretty well. From a slow from a slow start. I don't think this is the sort of thing, you know, once once this becomes international and it, there's a world championships, you're gonna be this time next year you're gonna be zipping through this stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Works, but I need a background on it. God, you got so much time left, you wouldn't believe it. Just suddenly you're suddenly ramping up. You got fifteen minutes left. Man. It's going great. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so we've had something nice said about you both <laughs> after all, all the criticism. Um, I'm just enjoying, this is DIY Genesis. I'm just enjoying seeing two masters go at it. Smiley face, great fun. We're masters? It seems... It seems your masters. Uh, I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, then catching this live from Bill Bow. Great job so far, guys. Yeah, the love is coming in now. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what do you think? Look at that. Close enough. That's I mean, cool. not, we don't care about the font sizes, right? We do. We do. Well, a little bit. Depends. Do you care about winning? 
<laughs> I'm going for that win, baby. Yeah, oh, you, wait till, you wait till there's prize money on this in a few weeks' time. Oh. Talking to sponsors. Any sponsors out there want to sponsor these events? Get in touch. Big prize money. That'll change people's opinion of taking part. The purists will be hopping onto it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You've still got a massive 13 minutes left, and you're doing great. Uh, and then somebody has commented. I think this is, a, I don't know if this is a snarky comment from Frank. Uh, Masters of their own universe. Laugh, laugh out loud. Smiley face. That might be. That's all right. I think that's Ooh. genuine. I'll take it as genuine. Thanks, Frank. Um, go, Mike. Andrea. Do you know Andrea? Um, let's see oh. here. Do, 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 do. Maybe. I don't know. I know some people name Andrea. Get out of here with that. Delete. Right, let's put you side by side, so see what's going on here. Can you both scroll up and down quickly, just so I can see where you're at? So, Ooh. Yeah, cool. Let's see. Good work, guys. We have this. Pretty good. You got sticky nav working, Brian? Oh, that's Mike. Yeah. Yep, got some sticky nav action. Pretty that's cool. Better than mine. Let's see. Using a lot of keyboard shortcuts, and um, that's something I've been doing a lot more of um, as I'm building a ton of patterns. And yeah. one of the more helpful ones is adding before and after elements, which is yeah. command option on a Mac, command option T and Y, and you can insert an element before or after where you're currently building. Yeah, that's super useful. Duplicate is pretty useful as well. Yeah, duplicate. And I think, you know, I think. Uh, I had some trouble with duplicate previously, but it, maybe it just started working in uh, the latest one. I don't know. I think it was like a browser shortcut as well. So it was just doing that, but now it does work fairly, uh, fairly well. So, cool. so, you know, all these little things, they add up to like being able to build quickly and fluently. Now this might not be the best display of that because we're <laughs> on a timeline, but uh, you know, um, in, in the real world, when you're building it's, um, yeah. It's really nice to have those things in your back pocket. Do you guys use the breadcrumbs much? Because I've started using the breadcrumbs a lot lately. Um, no. I think they're incredibly helpful for traversing mm. up and down. I'm just I doing... Justin, um, I saw Justin Tadlock use them a lot, and I thought, I'll try that, and it, it's a huge time saver. I, uh, in the breadcrumbs at the bottom of the screen, right? Yeah, down here at the, the bottom, yeah. Mm -hmm. I almost always have this sidebar open. So I'm just more likely that to just use that. But. Yeah. Right, guys, you're approaching the 10 minute mark. So I would like you, if that's if you're okay with that, it's entirely up to you. But you're going to get extra points if you if you try and do that grid layout or some of that grid layout. We're up to 92. Oh, up to 92 people watching now. I will <laughs> abandon where I'm at. And yeah, I build. As, long happy, as long as you're happy with where you're at. I mean, the best well, I don't know about that. I didn't say that, all that. I just said I would abandon it. But if you so these get, cards here, you yeah, want get, one, get one of those, get one of those cards and duplicate it. That'd be cool. If you okay. can get that layout done, you've got 10 minutes okay. to go. You can do. We've got 96 people watching. Mike is in the lead from the poll, but honestly, the poll. Yeah. I, polls, I you can't trust polls. You shouldn't do polls. I don't trust a poll. And I didn't, I didn't ask the right question. You asked who was more handsome and they <laughs> were just voting for me. Somebody did comment that there were three guys with white, with blue eyes. Oh, look at that. Which is weird. We didn't plan that as much as it seems like we might have. Yeah. We're 99 people watching now. So people are obviously word is spreading of the amazing stuff you guys are doing. Um, if anyone out there wants to take part in one of these, cause they're going to be if people like this as well, if you can hit the like button, that'd be fantastic because then more people will get to see it. Um, if you want to take part in this, there is a link 
should be in the live chat. I don't know if it's still there. There should be a link in the live chat where you can sign up. We do have some people signed up, some big names coming up, but more the merrier. So if you do want to come on a future episode, or you can go to poodlepress.com and you'll see the link there under WordPress Speed Builder as well. Uh, right. We've, sorry, I've missed out the card. I, yeah, bring on. And you've been creating a card. So um, what's your approach to this? Columns. Columns? For now. Okay. And uh, yeah, it, it really paste. looks like something that would be like a, a bunch of uh, posts or something. But somebody, whoever set up the starter site, didn't give us a bunch of posts. I'm not <laughs> names, I just... Yeah, sorry about that. So you didn't go for the grid block? I did not, personally. Um, I didn't know if that was uh, going to be on here. Is it on here? I'm not sure I put it on, actually. No, no it's not. It's not. Um, Scott's saying, have to admit, like all the musical instruments in Brian's background. You've got some sort of mandolin, I think, and it looks like a ukulele. Is that a guitarlele or something? There's a, yeah, ukulele and a mandolin. And, and a piano. The, and the, the piano and the... Yeah. Some other stuff, yeah. Okay, so we, we're making good progress here. Who's that? That is... Wow. Yeah, you're there, I think. Is that Mike? Mike, you're, you're, you're light mode, right? Nope. That's, uh, that's, um, oh, that's Brian. Brian. Sorry. Yeah. Brian's, hmm. Brian's pretty much there, I think. So you've done this in a Collins block and a group block, Brian. Yeah. Are you just, if you stack the group block, I can't see, I don't think so. I did a, no, I didn't stack it. What do you think? This, it's very close. I didn't do any of the fonts, so don't be mad that none of my fonts match. <laughs> right, you got six minutes left. You got some time. We're going to be strict on time today because it's the first challenge. We're not going to extend it. I think uh, half an hour is a good, a good length of time to see enough. So Brian's got his card pretty much there. It looks like to me, you've got rounded corners. I'm having fun with the fact that I can't select this teal color. It's just been super, super helpful. Yeah, don't worry too much about the. Somebody has said it would have been good if I put the colors up to start with. I think that's the, that's the accusation. <laughs> um, Okay, we've got some questions I'm going to shout at you. Uh, couldn't they simply use a pattern to start and then edit it? What were you thinking? Yeah, you thinking? I didn't because, well, oh. for one, uh, you wouldn't get to see us um, kind of build out yeah. some of the stuff and how you do it. That's Like I said at the top, for folks who weren't here, I'm kind of interested in this as a, like, um, you know, like an educational way yeah. of, of showing people what we're doing um right you're four minutes 56 seconds sorry to interrupt mike no no it's all good you're, um you made a great point and also people i don't know if you know this you can select multiple elements that are adjacent like this i'm selecting these three buttons and maybe i want to change the top and bottom pad i'm to padding to five pixels i can do that all at once see i can do that i can maybe make it even or get that a little closer but you can only do that if they're directly adjacent to each other okay cool Cool if you could do multi-select. Now that would really, uh, would really be cruising, then, wouldn't we? <laughs> All right, let's get you side by side for the last four minutes. Four minutes twenty-four to go. <laughs> Brian's card is looking pretty, pretty. I thought they look. They're both looking pretty good. Okay. What I'm saying. Okay, we're into duplication now. Yeah, this would have been nice with the grid or like a query loop. I mean, if, if being honest, there's probably a bunch of different things I would have done. Like this, I would have done, I would have taken this block and then I would have 
yeah locked it locked it down turned it into some sort of a a template or pattern or something that they could only just edit the text that kind of stuff or maybe yeah. pulling from there it looks like it's pulling from some sort of post type or something okay somebody said i don't think it's smart answering questions while building do the q a afterwards i'd be a very silent yeah. be a very know. silent half an hour <laughs> yeah i don't i don't mind that i think i want to fire as many questions at them as they're doing because it yeah, it's kind of it kind of increases the insanity of it in a way <laughs> increases the pressure <laughs> yeah there's other things we're going to throw at them in future ones like i'm going to drop their internet connection and get somebody to knock on the door uh, another Ooh. thing that would be great to have as a tool is you know we're building these columns and i have uh three boxes here that's all good and everything, but you can't just keep making columns. They don't, it won't wrap, so you have to effectively duplicate. Yeah, that row. Mm. Well, and yeah, that that's why that grid. But it, mm -hmm. it's the grid. It's we, yeah, technology, Jamie. I didn't think we were allowed to use it. Yeah, you you can use anything in these. Uh, thought I made that clear. Another anything. small thing uh, like. that uh, both Brian and I had to do, which may not seem obvious, is that. To get rounded corners on these um, columns, you can't put a border radius on a column itself. You have to put a group inside of that, and the group has border radius. And, okay. Yeah. Yep. It's a thing they're working on. Right. Two minutes left. So you want to be finishing up now because we are going to be really strict on time tonight because it's Friday night and it's eight eight thirty in the UK. I got a bottle of wine waiting for me. Oh, is it decanting? <laughs> no. <laughs> bottle of Cab Franc ready to go or what? <laughs> right, one minute, one, one minute 46, get ready to be judged. Oh, no. That's the worst part. I got I to gotta go, actually. I can't, I can't <laughs> hang around for that. I need this. I'm just going to throw that in there. Okay, Rob Hope is saying, go Mike, greetings from Cape Town. Oh, yeah, Rob's awesome. I was just on his podcast. Okay. The Yo! podcast will be up uh, coming up on that soon, so check that out. Rob's the man. He's a legend. So you've got one minute, ten left. So I'm going to ask you to present each of your sides to us in a minute. <laughs> Make your case for why we should... Uh... Uh funny <laughs> this is gonna be good yeah Nuno this is definitely gonna be a series so it might even appear on other channels There's discussions are happening oh Jamie's making big moves big moves for this let me know what my cut is uh do you want like a 1099 like an invoice or yeah just invoice yeah well there's only there's only I think we'll just have one winner and they get the they get the fee right that's probably what we want to do in the future. Hi, Patricia. Great to see you here. See everyone at WordCamp Europe. Oh, I wish I was going all, to that. All this live at WordPress Camp WordCamp Europe on stage. It's going to be uh, there's going to be music, fireworks. Right, five seconds left. Brian, Mike, four, three, two, one. Right, pencils down. <sighs> Pencils down. Well done. Well done. That was, that was, uh, oh. what? <laughs> that was well. Oh. Did you come up with a word or? <laughs> <laughs> right. Can we, can we, um, let's start with who should we start with? Let's start with, um, Brian, do you want us to talk us through? Just show us your screen. Your screen is up, is up on now. So just, um, show us your screen. Uh, hold on. I've just got to do one thing here. Show us your screen and mm -hmm. just talk us through how it went, what you did. It looked pretty good. I mean, it's not far away. Go, go for it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I did a navigation. I did a buttons. Yeah. I had a, an SVG logo, which we all know how great those SVGs work in the block editor. So the spacing is a little funky, Yeah. but it's sticky. I, you know, personally, I would have rather this be a little bit better of a header and stuff. Um, well, we got this featured kind of area with some text and a button and then yeah. there's some like fixed position, uh, little extra images and around. Usually if, uh, somebody wants that, that's like custom block work that we would probably do a little custom 
wrapper block that just loads a little extra CSS. No fancy skills for that. Yeah. Uh, there was some text, some sort of animated GIF that was not in the media library. Um, they had sorry, these sorry centered. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, carry on. Carry okay. on. <laughs> they had these centered. I thought it, they looked better if I just put them in random directions. Go <laughs> 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 yeah, to it. So I thought. Yeah, good shout. All of choice. Hey, look at that. Um, That's pretty we cool. Got the grid. Um, as you can tell, font sizes, border width, none of that really seems to match. But um, yeah, I think this would be a pretty simple thing to do with a with the custom post type. And then we made it down to our testimonial hey, cool. uh, with uh, with the, that looks maybe like 40% like the original design. That's about as far as I made it. Yeah, I think that was a great effort. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well done, Brian. Yeah, hats off. That's a that's a top effort for 30 minutes unseen. We had about five minutes to see the site. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Right. Mike, over to you, sir. All right. Let's see here. So this is mine. Is that yours? Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. That's not it. <laughs> that was the original site. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is mine. That's pretty good. Uh, I threw the SVG up in the top. I lucked out in that it just stretched. I didn't even have to do anything to it. I don't, I don't know why. Um, I was not expecting that. Uh, sticky menu works uh, for the most part. I didn't quite get the buttons, how they look. Yeah. Uh, very similar section to Brian's here, text here. This, <laughs> I know how to get this centered, but in the rush of things, I just, like, I was <laughs> lost in a, in a nesting of groups and I just, it just wasn't working out. So I just left it. Um, then uh, moved down uh, the title. Uh, I didn't get to any of the sections between. I hopped down to the, uh, the cards. Yeah. And uh, these are my cards here, so similar yeah. to Brian's, and uh, not too far off from what they look like. I didn't get time to center them, uh, give them some space on the sides and everything, but yeah, good effort. And uh, yeah, ideally we could um, give these some height so that they fill the full height of the tallest. Um, yeah, and do you feel? I mean, questions. Well done, both of you. By the way, that was fantastic. Do you feel like? Um, the pressure, do you think the pressure was a good thing for you? Did, did that help? Did, how did that feel as you're going through it? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't think it, I, I think for right. me, just getting started was the hardest part is like deciding like, oh, do I want to do this in a page? Do I want to do this in an editor? Like, do I start with the thing? And that kind of, I think, exposed some of the tough parts of, of WordPress right now is there's yeah. stuff's kind of all over the place. And it's like, where do I actually start? And then I, you know, starting in a, template part the header and then jumping out to a front page and stuff so um but the cool thing i think was like once i was in the page and had like the canvas to work on like i could i could go to town and, and use all the tools i know and um to build from scratch some of these sections um it's it's kind of it's kind of tough to to kind of yeah. build that in uh in a pressure cooker but yeah what do you think brian yeah, I mean, I, I think I agree. It's a it's a different workflow than like I would normally have. So it's, it's well, a half an hour. <laughs> and, and yeah, and do it in a half an hour. And to be able to, you know, normally you get like a nice Figma file maybe that you're trying to match and, and see all the settings. And there's some sort of design system that you put into your theme JSON. So you got it all really like dialed in. But uh, yeah, um, the fact, honestly, uh, <laughs> the fact, I think people forget what it was like. I mean, we still support sites that are classic, classic sites, you know, ACF field, whatever people, I think people forget what it's like when you have to open one of those and do stuff. And oh yeah. Whenever we have a client where they, they go, I don't like the buttons on this hero. And we're like, oh, well we made it in the block editor. So here's one click and I deleted it for you. And their mind honestly gets blown sometimes when they're like, oh, I don't like, I could just take the buttons out. I didn't know I could do that. So, yeah. uh, you know, overall pretty happy inside there. Yeah. And, uh, Couple more questions. Do you think I think half an hour feels about right? Yeah, that's that's long enough. Do you think? Yeah, I mean, for if depending on <laughs> what you expect, what kind of outcome you're looking for, yeah. Um, yeah. Let me know. Maybe, in the comments whether you think half an hour is long enough? I think it's a good. I think it's a short amount of time. It's it's you know it's just a fun half. An yeah, hour. I would say maybe pull like the first three sections or something. Yeah. Um, okay. And then yeah, just say yeah. build these because then I think you can have the 
you have the time to do them, but also it might change what you do in what order, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, but otherwise I think half hour is a great amount of time. It's just enough time to do something, but also enough, not enough to like relax. So, yeah. So Mike, can you put your, your site back on the full screen so we can see them both side by side? Um, and Brian, can you just, yeah, I mean, they're both pretty good. I, I think, honestly, I don't really want to choose a winner today. I think it was a, a great effort you both had. Yeah. Unless you guys feel strongly about it, but no, I think I don't. You, you both Brian's do. a winner in my book. So. You're both winners. Thank you. That was fantastic. Thanks everyone for watching. There will be more of these. So um, I'm still fin finalizing who's going to be on the next ones. But if you do want to take part, get in touch. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you all. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Mike. That was amazing. You did great. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie. Right, this was super Thank fun. You. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Cheers, everyone. Yes. Bye.